So Ruben, uh, you're just uh, doing a few kick serves. What were you saying just real quick about the, uh, you're saying one of the keys for you was the, something about your pecs. What did you mean by that? Uh, the pe pectoralis pop, that's the what I call it. Pectoralis pop, pectoralis okay. Pectoralis pop. So when you make contact at the top here, you really uh -huh. want to work on the pop of the chest muscle. Oh. The pop at the top. Okay, well, something like this. Can you demonstrate uh, the pectoralis pop on there? Do a kick serve out wide. Try to use that side fence, man. That'd be really hard to do. Oh, nice. So, so this uh, this pectoralis pop is this one of your special shots? I've been working on it for a couple of years, and I think I've really got it down now. Okay, well, uh, hope to pop. see. Oh, oh god, that was pretty impressive. What? What now? <laughs> Are you actually going to put this online? I don't know. Are you? <laughs> what? <laughs> can you, can you, you can't do the left one, you can only do the right one. Oh my gosh. You can do the left. This is getting <laughs> Hey guys, ATP WTA registered tour coach Heath Waters here. And I hope you enjoyed that video, the peck pop. And that is Ruben, and I am Ruben's coach. And on a more serious note, I'd like to talk about your second serve. Let me ask you this. Let's see if any of these describe your second serve problems. Do you ever get tentative on your second serve? How about this? I feel tight and I can't swing full out when I really need to or want to. Or maybe. I lose my balance when trying to hit a top spin serve. Or maybe your toss is just erratic on your second serve. Is that you? Do you struggle to brush up on your second serve to get that needed margin and consistency that we all want? And maybe, maybe you're actually trying to toss the ball to the left, but you're still not able to hit a good high margin second serve. If you answered yes to any of these questions, then stick with me. Let's look at some important elements you must have in order to solve your second serve woes. Okay, before we show you the elements that are must-haves to having an awesome second serve and one that wins you many points, let's show you some proof. We're going to look at some of Ruben's statistics. Now, he came to me about five months ago, and we reunited after many years. I started coaching him at 13, and He's around 575 when I started, and now he's around 400, so he's moved to almost 175 spots. But look at the stats there, 77% to 15%. His second serve points won, won versus his opponent. Here's another example, 89% to 0%. I mean, this was the, the whole difference in the match. Uh, the other guy was uh, pretty good on his first serve points won, but he only won 0% to 89%. That was the complete difference in the match. Here's an example of one set. 80% to 55%, but their first serve points won were exactly the same percentage, 71% to 71% in a $50,000 event. And so you can see how critical taking your second serve, and when he came to me, he wanted better technique, he wanted to be more aggressive, and we did that. Here's a 79% to 48% second serve points won against Michael Moe, very strong up and coming top American player, and it was the difference in the match. And so Let's look at and show you the exact elements that are must-haves if you want to take your second serve to another level so you can go further in your tennis career and win more matches. So just in case you were wondering, the peck pop was all ad-libbed by Ruben, and it was for your entertainment only. It wasn't a real technique. He was just having fun. So what we're going to do here, let's get to the real good stuff, and we're just going to show you what makes this serve so special? And what are the key elements that you want to take from this and apply to your own game? And so we're going to show you what they are. And so what are the things that we improve? Number one, right here, proper knee flexion. Okay, he had pretty good knee flexion, but we, we made it a little stronger. And then we made sure that he got his upper body torso rotation. So notice how this chest is facing towards us. We can see his chest towards the back fence, and he's rotated his chest and his torso from starting position to approximately 135 degrees. And then we have the rear tilt. This is another position that we increased and made a little bit stronger. As you see, his 
left shoulder is here, his right shoulder is tilted back towards the back fence per se. And then we went ahead and increased and improved the ground reaction forces, his leg drive. And so we got him to get higher off the ground. And then as you see a very strong thoracic extension here as we approach contact and push off that ground and then really worked hard on increasing his external rot his internal rotation. So that's where this uh, elbow is here and his hand is below that. And that's going to create more distance to get to the ball. So you want more distance so we can accumulate more racket speed. And so we get all this stretch here, the stretch shortening cycle being utilized to slingshot that racket through the ball. And so then we're going to watch here, just notice where his ball lands. This is the biggest benefit is it's going to land at an angle and go off the sidelines. And then you're going to see it hit that side fence way above his opponent's head. And that is what makes the great elements of a kick serve. All right, so those are some of the key elements to a winning second serve. Now I invite you to learn how to hit this second serve like you saw Ruben performing. Pro Tour player Lindsay Lee Waters, former number 33 in the world, and my wife, she's going to be the one demonstrating, and we're going to teach you the exact winning serve that you saw Ruben executing in a step-by-step, easy-to-learn, 12-video lesson format. Our course is absolutely the fastest way to learn a consistent and effective second serve. So if you're tired of being tentative or scared to swing full out, or you just don't have a great second serve, click below and get started today. We'll see you on the inside.